It started in the year 1948 when a group of Christians from Davao Alliance Gospel Church, namely Oyboka Brothers, Pastor Gavino Fernandez, Reverend George Kang, and many others came to Turil and conducted prayer rallies and evangelistic meetings. The results of these mission outreaches led several families responding to the call of God and the message of salvation. Thus, the families of Mr. and Mrs. Pueblas, Mr. and Mrs. Maganda, Mr. and Mrs. Nolasco, and Mr. and Mrs. Nieras eventually became the first pioneering members of the Turil Evangelical Church. The first meeting place was in the Guzman Street, Turil Davao City, in the house of Mrs. Ang, and later it was transferred to the house of Mr. and Mrs. Nolasco in the same street. When the church gradually increased in number, they called for a pastor, and the first pastor to serve the church was Pastor Lupu Vigno, who was then a student pastor from Ebenezer Bible Institute in Zamboanga. It was then the congregation was moved to the present location, along the highway in Saipan in 1949. He tackled the first responsibility of constructing the small church building made of bamboo materials. He ministered for two years, from 1948 to 1950. Pastor Arturo Marbas Sr. succeeded the pastorate and served for six years. Then, Pastor Daniel Pagsaguran assumed the spiritual leadership and it was during his incumbency that the former parsonage was built and the name was changed from Turil Evangelical Church to Turil Alliance Church. In many years in succession, this congregation had been served by the following God's servants. Reverend and Mrs. Gerardo Manalo, they were instrumental in total renovation and expansion of the church and served for six years, and later he became the district superintendent. Reverend and Mrs. Carlos Ayo, in whose time the church membership swelled tremendously and after serving for four and a half years in the church, he succeeded Reverend Manalo's post as district superintendent. During his time as the pastor, Pastor Bert A. Labawan was serving as a youth director of the church. Pastor and Mrs. Ruben Ang, Young and energetic with spiritual vision, the membership grew and started planting daughter churches around, namely Dalyao and Inawayan with the help of the Bible School students, which was established in 1978 with the initiative of the following people. Reverend Bert Labawan, Reverend Carlos Ayok, Reverend Mars Forte, and Reverend Ruben Ang. Reverend Hermogenes Hermosa and Reverend Rudy Velasco contributed in the spiritual needs and development of the members. Reverend and Mrs. Pat Kibo Kibo served barely a year and yielded to radio ministry in Zamboanga. Reverend and Mrs. Jonathan Labrador served for two years and started the Unikin Fellowship, now known as the Turil Bible Study Center, and went full-time Bible school teachers at the Alliance School of Church Growth. Pastor Freddy Pabroa and Pastor Cesar Lamigo worked hand-in-hand -in, -hand in tackling various needs and programs of the church. Reverend and Mrs. Daniel Cabiles. They are veteran workers whose wide range of experiences minister to the church's spiritual needs and prodded the attainment of the much-needed general improvement of church facilities, such as the earth filling of sunken dump areas, conquering fences and passageways, and the main entrance. After serving the church for many years, they responded to the call as missionaries to Hong Kong. Reverend and Mrs. Cesar Bitil organized the different functional ministry divisions and engaged several staff to implement the program goals. Likewise, challenged stewardship consciousness, which consequently augmented the church income. Reverend and Mrs. Guillermo Manalo. They're responsible for the beautification of the church building with its new facade, landscaping, and other improvements. In 1993, Reverend Bert 
Ayla Bawan, a fresh graduate from Alliance Graduate School in Manila, was invited to take the post as the church pulpit minister, while Pastor and Mrs. Joel Yunero functioned as the resident pastor. After serving for three years, the Lyoneros resigned. It was then that Pastora Joyce Malik was invited to serve in 1996 as the junior church and youth worker. Pastor and Mrs. Daniel Velasco assumed the post as the resident pastor in place of the Lyoneros, but Reverend Bert Labawan remained as the pulpit minister. After four years of service, Pastor Velasco resigned in favor of the pastoral ministry in Santo Domingo Alliance Church. Then, Pastor Rochelle Lopez, a fresh graduate from Mount Apo Alliance Bible College, came in 1999, serving in the Christian Education and Music Ministry. Reverend Bert A. Labawan continued to serve the church not as a pulpit minister but a full-time senior pastor until the present year. He was greatly responsible in tripling of church membership. He is the instrument in the expansion and beautification of the church building, construction of the modern comfort rooms, providing church equipment, musical instruments, amplifiers, centralized air conditioning of the church, construction of the new parsonage and school building, landscaping and the titling of two church lots after 50 long years. Reverend Bert Labawan is also responsible in changing the name of the church to Capital Alliance Church after bearing seven daughter churches. In between times, Bible school interns and graduates were filling in for the youth, music, and Christian education ministries such as Ms. Estrella Malaga, Mrs. Mary Jane Bastida Torillo, Mrs. Yolanda Garcia Pueblas, Mrs. Mercy Grace Santander Maganda, Pastora Sheila May Ogates Marcos, Pastora Joylin Ayok Mantawil, Pastor Don Tigas, and Pastor Ron DePedro.